This is a J Mix exclusive. <laughs> I think that he was a wannabe gangster, and his movement was a very, very strong movement for a person his age. He was he was trying to coordinate a movement that was going to change the world. That's why he's no longer here, and that's why we don't have any answers about it. His his thing was he was trying to unite, starting with the respect of everybody from the streets that he would see every day. The people struggling, the drug dealers, the pimps, the hoes, the, the people you see on a day-to-day -day basis that struggling in life that everybody else would have labeled and called bad names when he, when all he saw was people trying to survive where he was from. And he was trying to reach out to them and gain their respect and he was willing to put his life on the line for it. He was willing to, he was willing to do that. You know, and yeah, he talked about the inner city, he gave a report of what he was feeling from living where he was living, where his government put up a structure to have him living, and he was reflecting on it. But the things that he was saying had a bigger... If you ever listen to Tupac's conversation with Master Cody, you could see what his mission was. You would get a whole a great understanding. You know, I, I definitely, I'm going to make sure that I, I introduce it to the world and, and make sure that everybody, I won't let his legacy go, like, with a cover-up over what he really was. You know, I'm going to make sure that people know what he stood for. His mom was a panther. And, you know, my uncle Bobby, but he's that manager, he was a panther, so he was raised in that. I was writing, I was writing for the commemorator Black Panther Party paper before I, Jordan just went to ground. It, it was, it's just everything he stood for was to better the people, to change the world that we're living in right now. And to tell people, look, don't be no punk, stand up. Like, he didn't want to be, he didn't want us to walk around cowards. He didn't want us to walk around scared. He didn't want us to, oh, yes, sir, yes, sir, and have to and be treated by the police the way we were. He wanted us, he wanted to give us a backbone. He wanted to say, look, we are people. We can stand up. We don't have to do this. And he wanted, to, uh, he wanted a team of soldiers that can go in and start changing up the community. And he start, he wanted to start with the people that most people write off. But he wanted the drug dealers. He wanted them because those are the people that was going to make a ch change. He don't want. He know if we gave if he gave them a little something, then they'll be willing to give a little something back. And when he made that connection with them. He was he wanted to make that connection. He wanted to make the connection with the streets. That's why you have that life. He wanted that connection because that's what he wanted. He wanted soldiers. He was prepared for war. He was willing to die for it. This is a J Mix exclusive. What up with Sean?